Newt Gingrich says that Ron Paul's foreign policy is dangerous to the survival of the United States. Newt Gingrich has it exactly backwards. The most dangerous policy for our survival is the policy of bankruptcy, a policy of unnecessary, immoral, and counterproductive multi-trillion dollar wars. Multi-trillion dollar wars that are charged to a credit card issued to us by the communist Chinese government. Ron Paul stands against an establishment that seeks endless war and endless occupation. He has studied the history of empires and correctly rejects the lie that safety can be secured via a policy of global domination. This policy is militarily and financially unsustainable. Mr. Gingrich, if you and the rest of the establishment are truly concerned about the survival of the United States, why would you pursue a policy that only hastens our economic collapse? You also have to understand, and this will be a major debate with Congressman Paul, who's had a very good night, and I congratulate him on having done very well. But the fact is, his views on foreign policy, I think, are stunningly dangerous for the survival of the United States. And your reaction? <laughs> <laughs> well, he should read the Constitution to find out what we're supposed to be. We're not supposed to be the policemen of the world. We're not supposed to start preemptive war and go in and occupy countries. Why don't we look to George Bush's advice? He ran in 2001 by saying we should have a humble foreign policy. We shouldn't be the policemen of the world. We shouldn't be in nation right. building. So he's taken on George Bush. He's taken on the founders of this country. He's taken on Robert Taft. He's taken on President Eisenhower, who warned us about bankrupting this country and and. Uh, Kowtowing to the military industrial complex but, but while Mr. undermining our national what, defense. What other foreign policy expert agrees with you? The American people and their experts, they have to pay for it and they have to die for it. And 75% of the American people are saying, come home, come home. Mm -hmm. The soldiers, just think of the soldiers. I mean, why don't they have an opinion? They have to risk their lives. And they give me more money than the rest, twice as much as all the other candidates. Why, why is that ignored? Don't they have a say? Shouldn't they be able to reverse, uh, you know, uh, right. uh, give us an opinion? Mm -hmm. So people, if you ignore that, uh, you do right. it at risk because this is endless and our country's bankrupt so we can't afford okay. it we didn't beat the Soviets with the nuclear war we beat the Soviets because they were ruined economically and that's what we're on the verge of doing to ourselves speaking